Hi everyone! So it is currently Wednesday morning at 11 o'clock and I'm just now picking up the camera for the week. We'll talk about that later, but I'm at the hair salon right now about to get my hair done. This is what it looks like before and I will update you guys when I get out. And here is the final! It's so blonde, I love it. I just got my roots done, a little bit more highlights, and then I got a good four and a half inches cut off. <laughs> That's crazy. My hair needed it though. I had so many dead ends. It was it was time to let go of the long hair. <laughs> yeah, this past week has kind of been messy. Jess and I just haven't been feeling good. Jess got food poisoning from eating a Whole Foods buffet, and I feel like I had a touch of it. Kind of just took the past, you know, a couple days, like four or five days to just recover relax just try and get better so here it is Wednesday and I'm finally like I feel like 95% better so I need to get started on that in-law suite that I talked about like a few videos ago <laughs> because a new tenant is moving in in a couple weeks and I haven't done anything I've been trying to sell the entertainment center online for a few days and nobody's interested so I don't know what I'm gonna do with that but I did pick out the bathroom colors so when I get home I'm gonna show you guys what color I'm gonna paint that but yeah I just feel like a new person when I get my hair done. I love it. I love the feeling as soon as it gets done. Short hair is in, I think. I think people, I think it's coming back. So I'm about it. I love it. All right, guys. So here's the bathroom in all of its glory. On camera, it looks way darker in here, but just imagine like some Pepto-Bismol color. So I actually decided to go with this gray color. I had a can left over that we used from the basement. It would have been nice to do like a different color in here, but the problem is the floors are pink and the countertop is pink. So it's hard to pick any other color that would match pink. So we had gray, so I'm just gonna go with it. Then I had some leftover white trim. And then I have a little bit of ceiling paint left. I'm definitely gonna have to do the ceiling because if you notice, whoever did the pink in here did not care about getting it on the ceiling and it bothers my OCD like so bad. Like look at that. Um, I only have like a little bit in here. It's probably like up to here worth. Hopefully I have enough. Um, I don't, I don't want to have to go out and get some more, but there's not that much coverage that I have to do. So we're just going to go with it. But yeah. Unfortunately, we're not going to change the floors and we're not going to change like anything else in here. So that's why I decided like, let me just paint it, make it look a little bit better than what it looks like now. It would be nice to get a new mirror here, but I'm not really worried about it. I know this cabinet is all chipped. I mean, I could just like try and sand this the best I can and paint over it, but I'm a little nervous to do that. So I don't, I don't know if I'm comfortable with doing that yet. And actually doing this bathroom isn't really gonna cost anything because we already had all the paint and all of the supplies anyway. So that's a plus. Obviously I'm gonna put a new light bulb in there. <laughs> Probably just gonna get started on the molding tonight so then it could dry. And then tomorrow I can do a second coat on it and then I can start on the walls. Guys, I've been trying to open this paint can for like 10 minutes now and <laughs> look at it. Oh my God, it's awful. Like once I open this and I reclose it, I don't think I'll ever get it open again, but oh my God. This paint can has lasted me a long time. So this thing's been opened probably at least a dozen times. Because I'm not even kidding. That just took me 20 minutes to open that but I was determined because there was no way I was gonna go all the way to Lowe's to get another one, especially when there's good paint inside. So you might be asking me why I'm repainting on the molding. Well, if you look here, there's like pink all over the molding. So it's just, it wasn't a nice clean job. Also, all of the molding in this house is an off white color. So just painting it white just brightens it up and it makes it look cleaner to me. So I'm going around the border of the shower and I'm just scraping some of the pink that got on the plastic. And as I'm doing that, the whole like wall started to peel apart. And this was the color underneath of it. It's like a gray green color. It was interesting to see the color underneath is like another gray color. That's funny. Okay, I just did two coats on the molding. I'm gonna let that dry overnight and then I'll see you guys tomorrow to do the ceiling. All right guys, it's currently day two and our goal is to finish the ceiling. I think the hardest part about painting the ceiling is mainly the prep. So I have to cover everything, including the shower, the toilet, the countertop, the floors, everything, just like cover it with a blanket or sheet or something so it doesn't drip. Literally like it just splatters right into your eyeballs <laughs> and in your hair and it is so messy. I don't know if you guys have ever done it, but it's a mess. 
here's a little life hack for you. Even though these rugs are really ugly and I'm probably gonna replace them, just flip them over so you can cover the floor so when the paint drips, it just hits the back of the rug. Here we go. Little life hack for you. Also, this outfit might look a little familiar to you if you guys have watched my other home improvement videos. <laughs> but I already took this light down and oh, look at that dust. Look at that in there. It's all caked in there. I had to clean that out. Oh, that's disgusting. All right, time to get rid of that pink. So I'm currently standing on the counter trying to do the ceiling, but never leave the lid where you're standing because my foot just stepped in it. <laughs> and you can't see it, but I also got it on my camera. Oh, and I just got it on my phone. That's nice. And also the dogs won't leave me alone. So we have Mason sleeping over here and Jenny made a little bed over here with the blankets. In this small bathroom. <laughs> I can't. All right, so I just finished the first coat of the ceiling. I'm just waiting for it to dry. I actually just filmed a TikTok because <laughs> I'm just bored and I'm eating my lunch, waiting to do the second coat. But I think Jess is downstairs. I think there's something wrong with the water, which is not good. Why is there always something wrong? <laughs> so let's go see what he's doing. Boo! Hi, Scary. Say boo to the bee. Booby. Uh. <laughs> what are you doing back here? I was just, I was just telling people. Who are you telling? Somebody was back here. I thought. I thought I heard you talking to I yourself talking back here. It. Sometimes I just pretend I'm vlogging, but I just don't film. It. What the heck? I'm what like, are you hey, doing? Guys. Wait, can I even walk down here? Oh my. Just look out for wet spots. Oh yeah, I see that. So this is a water softener tank. Basically, the whole point of it is so that you have clean drinking water. So there's no iron in it, it's not hard water, there's no chemicals, all kinds of crap. You never know, especially when you're getting well water, which is pumped from the ground. It's disgusting. So wait, we drink out of that? It goes through all these different tanks, and all these tanks got different chemicals and salts and oh. all these mixtures to balance the water. So inside this one... So Ew, why? Why is it black? So that's the drinking water. Nuh uh. So that right there isn't the drinking water, but that's what so, our drinking water passes through. So maybe that's to get what got you our... sick. No, it wasn't. But it doesn't help because oh we've been God. drinking this. Why does it look like that? So believe it or not, there might be a lot of people's water softener tanks that look like this. So what you usually do is you got to fill these up with like solar saw or pellets. There's all these different kinds of uh, things that you can fill it up with, different kinds of salts that basically help like neutralize and sterilize the water. So what happens is though, and I learned this the hard way, is that if you use rock salt or crystal salt, which is what predominantly everyone uses, yeah. it actually has dirt in it, has all kinds of other yeah. impurities, and it ends up leaving a residue in here. And if you let it build up over time like this, So how it's long gross. did it take for it to look like that? Uh, months. It says you gotta clean this once a year. However, if you use the pellets, clean pellets versus crystals, you'll have cleaner, clearer water. That in that bin. Oh my God. That's what was at the bottom of the tank. Oh my God, and we're drinking that. Yeah, so the water's passing through all that. We're drinking all that dirt. Pretty much. So yeah. even though that thing, that's a reverse osmosis filtration system, it's got all these fancy filters and all this other stuff. It has been tasting funky recently too. So filters can only do so much. It, they're not gonna change the hardness of the water and they're definitely not gonna do what this should be doing. It's been a process, so I need to get it all out. And then if you see here, I got a sump pump. This contraption, yep. that drains it, pumps the water out via hose. This hose is hooked up to here, which gives me fresh water that I can oh. clean this out with. I feel like Actually, I've never one, heard anybody doing this before. One thing you'll learn when you're close to 30 years old, oh. like I am, is that people don't give a Oh when it comes to health, people do not give a flying This should be like lesson one on everybody should go check their water tank. I mean, Make most sure of you guys clean. probably don't even have your own house or like are younger, whatever. Or, or you wherever do. you're living, like make sure your be water like, Yo, Mom, is Dad. good. Yeah, just for shits and giggles, be like, Mom, Dad, can we look inside our water softener tank? And then yeah. if it looks like how ours looks, just be like, check it out. Just tell them to clean it and then be like, well, how about you clean it? Your parents will give you some bulk. Yeah, but at least check it out because I didn't know this was a thing. Another house thing done. All right, I'm gonna go finish painting. All right. <laughs> so I did the white trim 
and then I did the first coat completely on the ceiling and then I did that twice but for some reason when you look around, you can really see the white trim. Why does it look like that? I've already done two coats, so you shouldn't be able to see that. Look how bad it is, especially in that corner. It's like two different whites almost. While we're waiting on that, I got dinner started. I got some potatoes in the pot for mashed potatoes. And then in the crock pot here, look at this. Some nice chicken and gravy. Oh, I fogged up the camera. <laughs> and I'll make some vegetables on the side. Oh, I'm so excited. Right, I've been slaving over this crock pot all day. Yeah, those canned peas. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to try it and see if you like it. I mean, it's chicken mashed potatoes, gravy, and peas, right? I know, but I not enjoy this? Because I don't think I'm a very good cook, but... Why would you think that? I've messed up a lot of recipes. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. It's flavorful. Look at that. I want to try just the mash if it's possible. Yeah, yeah. That's some good mash. Mm. That's like actual mashed potatoes. Yeah. Yeah, that's pretty good. Yeah, I peeled them, boiled them, st the stuck them in a stew. Yeah. Chicken's good. Yes, it is. Nice. I finally, I'm like, like I'm proud of myself. I finally made a good meal yep. that I will make again. Slow cook. <laughs> You can't mm. go wrong with a crock pot, man. Good job. Uh, Yay! Good. good dinner. I don't know if it's the mashed potatoes or just doing three coats of ceiling, but I'm tired. <laughs> so yeah, I'll see you guys tomorrow. All right, it is currently day two. The ceiling is definitely dry. I'm just now starting on the gray paint. I think it's like 5.30 now. I've kind of slacked for the day. <laughs> I've been wearing my paint clothes all day, but things just keep popping up. I got some phone calls. I've been doing other things around the house. And then now here it is 5.30 and I'm just now starting on day two, but it's fine. At least I'm getting started. And I hope to get at least, you know, the trim and then the first coat done tonight. So then tomorrow I can just come in with a second and then do the third coat if needed. And then this room should be completely done. So I need to get started. <laughs> But yeah, the problem I was having last night with the ceiling is not a problem anymore. I did just do a quick third coat. I like barely had enough ceiling paint left over, but I was able to do that and it looks a lot better than what it did. So I'm pretty happy with it now. And hopefully somebody buys the entertainment center because we just threw it outside because we're tired of looking at it. So I put it online. Hopefully somebody picks it up within the next day or two because I think it's supposed to rain. But yeah, it's just sitting outside now. The gray is giving off like a green vibe a little bit. I think it's because of the pink behind it, which I mean, I'm not too mad about. We'll see what it looks like when I actually roll on the walls. The first coat is finished and I'm really happy with the color. I'm mostly happy that the pink is finally gone. I think it looks good. It's definitely going to need a second coat, so that's what I'm going to do tomorrow, but I think it looks really nice. All right, it is the third and final day of this bathroom. I can't wait to be finished. <laughs> I hope you guys have enjoyed this little journey with me. I think, I think they're fun to film. Let me know in the comments if this video has inspired you guys to pick up a paintbrush and a paint roller and think about painting your house. For me personally, I like color on the wall but it really depends on the vibe of what you're trying to go for. For instance, the PA house, the walls are very white, um, but that's the vibe of the house and it's very fitting. So because of that, I would add a lot of, you know, colorful accents like pillows, blankets, you know, artwork, stuff like that um, to really bring out some color. But for this house, it's a different vibe. It doesn't have the same vibe as PA. And I just feel like this house needs some color to it. So depending on the room, I like everything in warm, neutral colors, but then also in the kitchen, I did orange, like, you know, pops of color here and there. But, but for me, I just love color and it gives off a warm feeling and it's very inviting. So I hope for you guys, if you've never painted before, I hope you guys try it. It's not hard at all. Literally, you can do it yourself get it done in a day or two, and it gives the room a completely different feel. I've also gotten locked in this bathroom several times because this wall is not even. Like, see, see how the molding up against the wall, there's like barely any space. As you go down, it gets wider. So I'm trying to open this door and I'm literally like locked in here. I have to keep wiggling it to open the door <laughs> so bad.
Okay, so I just finished. I'm gonna let it dry a little bit and then we're gonna show Jess. But right here, I'll show the before. Here is the after. Sorry, the lighting is a little janky, but what do you guys think? Let me know in the comments if you think this is a better color. It's still really wet. I just finished, so. <laughs> You ready to see it? What'd you do? What'd you make in there? <laughs> Go Let's check it out. Oh my, oh, wow, that does look a lot better. Yeah. Doesn't it? Wait, it looks blue on camera. It's not blue, it's gray. <laughs> yeah, no, it's good. Finally got rid of the pink. Yeah. I mean, not all of the pink, but most of the pink. Wait, so it's not a girl living in this side of the house? No. Okay. There ain't no girls living in here other than me. What are you saying? Why can't we have a co house? Why now? <laughs> I think the mysterious uh, ten new tenant will like this more than the pink, for sure. I think so. Although, too. What? it looks look how nice yeah. it looks. Nice. It's so clean and crisp and. What next? New. Dude, I need a break. I barely even so did tired. anything. It's one room. I barely did anything. That took me like three days. Remember when we did that whole basement? There? The bathroom's nothing. Yeah, I'm, I'm done now. What? I'm not even getting paid for this. No. So you, I thought you did this for fun. Well. You enjoy it. <laughs> yeah, you like it. Whatever. Painting. Whatever. Relax. I do enjoy it. It's very therapeutic. <laughs> What are you smelling? <laughs> oh my God. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Give it a like if you did and I will see you guys soon. Bye guys.